Good day class. Welcome to the second session. In this session, we will analyze the viability of a selected idea or opportunity against specific screening variables. For one to turn an idea into a successful reality, you need to find the idea that has value to serve as a base for a successful business by evaluating the viability of the idea or opportunity. In order to determine whether your idea is viable or not, you need to determine the type of industry that your idea can be categorized into. This will help visualize the viability in terms of the other products, technology, and geographic market. After determining which industry your idea is categorized into, you can start to analyze your own skills and abilities by drawing a personal profile. Assessing your own strengths, weaknesses, and expectations helps you focus your attention on factors that influence the business. After analyzing your own strengths and weaknesses, you can analyze your potential market, which gives you a realistic view to the strengths and weaknesses, which allows you to profit off your strengths while improving your weaknesses. An entrepreneur might lack the necessary skills needed to run a business. Therefore, resorting to some form of training is a solution. In order to have an advantage in generating cash flow, you need to perform a market analysis, which will help you understand your customers and their needs, which will allow you to position your business for greater exposure to your target market by giving information on the market trends, competitor prices, and marketing strategies. Being aware of market trends will help you predict any changes or outcomes without spending important capital. In order to conduct a market analysis, you can conduct a PEST and SWOT analysis. The PEST analysis looks at the political environment, economic environment, social environment, and lastly, the technological environment. Whereas the SWOT analysis looks at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The location of your business is a great determining factor of the success of the business. It is logical for a manufacturing business to locate itself close to suppliers and modes of transport relevant for the business, whereas a retail business requires a location where many customers will see the product or service. There are a number of factors to consider when choosing a location, such as cost, security, taxes, long-term availability, infrastructure, and personal preference. Assessing your competition is crucial, which requires you to ask the correct questions so that you can build and improve on them for the survival of your business. Identifying the strengths and weaknesses of your competition gives you a competitive advantage since it makes you aware on how far you have gone and how you can improve in order to be ahead of the industry. Constraints of trade are factors that can limit the trade of a business. You need to research and address these constraints in a way that resolves the constraints. Some of the constraints may include constraints of information, inadequate management, financing and expenditure, a lack of skilled labor, political and economic unrest, communication problems across cultural barriers, high transport and insurance costs, and the lack of reliable suppliers. You need to find solutions to problems like this through brainstorming and try to minimize the impact it has to your business. We have come to an end of the second session. Let us take a break and continue with the next session.